When it comes to soil health, seeing really is believing. Field days like this one in Goochland County not only are successful for showcasing conservation in action, but they also work to provide an opportunity for farmers to learn from one another about what works best on Virginia soils. About 200 farmers, conservationists, and ag service representatives came here to Ronnie Knuckles Farm to see how he's implemented forage and grazing management strategies to build soil health on his land. Through the, the grazing schools, you, you come in contact with other cattle people, and you not only learn about grazing, while you're there, you talk about cattle, and you talk about what kind of problems they're facing, information that really wasn't on the program, but it was on my agenda, and I was able to, to learn and network with other cattle producers to come up with that. Walking the pastures and learning about Ronnie's experiences, they could also see how four simple soil health principles can really make a difference on the land keeping the soil covered, minimizing soil disturbance, maximizing the living root, and energizing both the forages and the soil with diversity. NRCS Soil Health Guru Ray Archuleta uses a soil pit and hands-on demonstrations to emphasize the importance of enhancing the soil biology to increase the overall function and productivity of this system. We went through all of my pastures and we analyzed and really it was a really good learning day for me because I'd heard the term you need to look below the soil and not at the grass. Uh, I hadn't done it yet. The group also gets to see demonstration plots for a conservation innovation grant project on Ronnie's farm. The Virginia Forage and Grassland Council, a key NRCS partner, worked together with Ronnie and a few other producers to explore the benefits of multi-species forage crops in his grazing system. These farmers saw forage species that they had never seen planted together before. More importantly, we were able to talk about the conservation benefits while at the same time looking at the yield and quality of the forage mixtures supporting his livestock system. I was grazing more cattle on less ground in a better fashion. I was feeding less hay. The returns just kept coming. All the pieces come together on this demonstration farm. Farmers implementing change can network with other grazers and learn from one another. Virginia is actually building a coalition of soil health partners. We're working through CIG projects and partners such as soil and water conservation districts, cooperative extension, and other agribusinesses to get this message out statewide. We invite you to become part of this coalition in building soil health and productivity on Virginia farms. To learn more, call or visit your local USDA service center. Local contacts and soil health information are available on the Virginia NRCS website.